Hi folks! With this video, we are starting a new series. In addition to our traditional fossil slash nature trips, we will be bringing surprise boxes from time to time. Open them and look inside. Here we go, box number one. It happened to be a small collection of coins, mostly those that have animals depicted on them. It's actually amazing how many different animals have their images on coins. Look, this one is from Iceland and has an image of a flying squid. Just imagine, a squid that can fly! A bull, one of the four protector spirits of Iceland, is on the other side. 10 RR is like 10 cents. New Zealand has a kiwi bird on the 20 cents and on the dollar coins. People in Peru see llamas on their coins all the time. Clearly, each country has its favorite animals. Look at this cute pig on one cent from Bermuda. Another coin from the same country. Here is a charming echidna from Australia. I love this creature. It lays eggs but feeds its offspring with milk like a mammal. Its long snout can sense electrical signals from the prey hiding underground. Echidna eats ants, termites, and worms. It has long claws to dig and long spines for protection. It can curl into a ball like a hedgehog would do. Another example of undeniable cuteness is an image of a feather tail glider on one cent from Australia. This creature is also called the flying mouse. Its tail looks like a feather, but the animal glides by stretching the skin between its legs. This tiny creature, less than three inches long, is the world's smallest gliding mammal and a right choice for the one cent coin. Singapore put lionfish on the 50 cents coin. It's been a while after 1974, and by now, lionfish have become an invasive species in the North Atlantic. It preys on the algae eaters, leading to algae overgrowth and destruction of coral ecosystems in Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. This is an interesting silver coin made in Mexico. Eight reales with lifelike eagle holding a snake with one leg while balancing with another on an apuntia cactus. It's a large and heavy coin. Look, it has markings. They are called chop marks and were likely made by Chinese bankers. Those people treated silver coins not like currency but rather as a piece of precious metal and they put stamps on coins using metal punches similar to Europeans making hallmarks on the silverware as a sign of the authenticity of the item. This practice also helped to recognize counterfeit coins that were silver-plated. Very cool stuff, showing that this coin was traveling around the world on a sail ship and was handled by many different people. Which coin do you think is the cutest one ever? Write a comment and also let me know if you'd like the idea of curiosity boxes. I want to know your opinion. Do not forget to subscribe to see our next video. And good luck! Continue to watch. We have a bunch of other coins with horses, bison, fish, and other animals. 